Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Dibble, a cardiologist here at Pace Cardiology in Barrie. And today I want to talk to you about blood pressure monitors. There are various ways that we can check a blood pressure, and it's an important part of someone's health. We check blood pressure at every visit with every patient. For many, many years, patients' blood pressures have been done one way, where they take a measurement of a cuff, and a nurse or a doctor takes the blood pressure with the patient right there at the bedside. And what we've always called upper normal for that was 140 over 90. But it turns out that's not the best way to do a blood pressure. If we're going to do it in the office, we should take an automated blood pressure monitor. And that's where the person will get connected and then we'll actually walk out of the room and let the blood pressure record it with the patient sitting quietly in the room by themselves. With that, we actually say upper normal is 135 over 85. And that's about what we would do when patients get their own blood pressure measurements at home using their own automated cuffs. But if we really need to know what somebody's blood pressure is doing day in and day out, including during sleep, we need to use ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. When we order an ambulatory blood pressure monitor, the patient gets connected here in the office, and then they go home with it for a day. It goes off every 30 minutes during daytime hours and every hour during sleep. And for most people, that's not disruptive to their sleep pattern. But it lets us really get a good idea of what their blood pressure is, the highest, the lowest, the average, and how much it varies. Sometimes that's the information we need to know if somebody needs blood pressure treatment or if their medication dose is too high or too low. And sometimes people have high blood pressure only when they're here in the office and the only way we're going to confirm they truly have normal blood pressure is with one of these monitors. So it's a very helpful test. It doesn't require any injections or needles, no radiation. It's a simple test to do and it is very helpful for us. It does have a cost because the government doesn't cover it but it's only $50 and sometimes it's money well spent so that we can get that useful bit of information.